Mobile game companies will go to any length just to get a download. These companies will develop any game and put any any ad up on social media just to get someone to download it. And when I say they will develop any game, I mean that shit. They will literally develop a game about, uh, you fucking college boys. And then they'll target the ad towards little kids who are curious about that shit just so they could catch a cheeky download off of a vulnerable child. They will make games about abusing women. She's not taking any more. To target, I don't know, people born around 1920 who are still upset about women gaining the right to vote. So then these men from 1920 can go on and uh, play this game about women being objects. But hey, that's just a theory. Okay, okay, so it's pretty obvious that these game companies are just hungry for a penny and they will literally do absolutely anything to get that penny there's no boundary for how far they will go whatsoever so today we'll be moving into the deep dark depths of mobile game ads and seeing how far they will go just for a cheeky download Gary, okay so here's the first ad <laughs> I can't express to you guys how much I hate this. How do they get away with this? This is obviously marketed towards someone whose mom chooses if they're allowed to have games on their phone or not. And something tells me that if your mom picks and chooses what games you can play, odds are you are most likely a child. I don't know. Maybe some of you guys out there are uh, 25 years old and your mom pays your phone bill and you still live in her basement and perhaps she doesn't let you play Minecraft because it's too inappropriate. So this game company is attempting to lure children into playing a game where you be a hot anime girl or maybe you just watch her beat herself i'm not really sure what's going on here but if she's just beating herself oh what's the fun in that okay so at the bottom here it says hot anime chick my guess is this is like a cookie clicker but instead of clicking cookies you're clicking a hot anime chick and every time you click she whips herself in the lake yeah I don't think my mom would like me to play this game. Okay, so this next one is also, um, sexual? Why are all these ads sexual? Why can't kids just play Minecraft? Like, uh... All right, so, um, the chick and the hunk are in quotes studying and it seems they're studying emojis specifically the eggplant peach and heart emoji and this can only mean one thing they are in fact studying but while they're studying they're obviously just snacking on some delicious eggplant parmesan peaches and they're absolutely loving it. So actually, um, I'm gonna go on and say this ad isn't actually bad at all. It's perfectly safe. Uh, I'm sure in the game you just go behind a locked door, you study and eat peaches and eggplants and you love it. Oh no, it seems that they've gotten uh, too distracted while eating their food and they didn't actually get to study that much because they were just so into their food. That honestly sucks for them, but... Honestly, still nothing too bad from this ad yet, other than they failed their tests. That's not always the best. I'm sure parents wouldn't really like their kids to uh, fail tests. It's not the best thing ever. Regardless, it is seeming to be pretty harmless after all. Okay. Well, I suppose you all should just take everything I said and throw it in a fire and absolutely obliterate it, watch it burn, because I'm starting to think that they weren't eating food. Because this lady is pregnant, and eating food does not make you pregnant, I think, in most cases. Maybe there's a case where you could eat... Okay, never mind. So, I'm beginning to think, uh, since eating food doesn't make you pregnant, uh, God put a baby in her stomach. And the other guy is the devil, so that's why he ran away uh, from her. And now look at how happy she is. Real talk though, this is actually really fucked up. These companies know the fuck what they're doing. Like, I don't know how social media platforms allow this shit to be advertised to them. Like, these social media platforms should be getting shit for allowing these ads to be played on there. Like, fuck Instagram and wherever the fuck else this ad runs for allowing them to run ads like this. It's all just about money. Like, if Instagram's getting some cash in their hands, they don't give a fuck. Seriously, man, it's honestly kind of fucked. Why you keep stalking my Insta? Mm, pretty sure I'm not. Gotcha. So do you want to deny it? Alright, I admit it. 
You are my crush. Okay, but like, that's creepy as fuck. So this app is an Instagram tracker, so you can see who likes your posts and stuff. And I guess it was made for people to uh, see who's stalking them on Instagram and who likes their photos and stuff. And this is what the developers of the app uh, believe you should do with this information. Hey you, I know you were looking at my Instagram page. What do you think you were doing? No man, I, I was just seeing what's up with you. Oh really? Well, 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 would you look at this? I have this inst tracker app, and will you take a look there? Haha, <laughs> got you! You right, man. I, I, I really do love you. You're like the dream boy of my life. <laughs> yes, that seems like an interaction that would happen in real life. Yeah, don't leave me, please. <laughs> I'm so fucking confused. What is this supposed to be? Does this chick just walk around in the game now with the label that screams out, NOBODY WANT! to everyone in the village? Or is her husband chasing around chanting, NOBODY WANT! NOBODY WANT! Or like, what is going on? This is absolutely disgraceful. First off, what are they trying to accuse this man of as guilty or not guilty? Is he guilty for the whole nobody want thing? Or like, is it like you're guilty of wanting a divorce? How dare you? 10 years in jail for trying to divorce this woman. And then whenever you uh, sentence this man to jail for wanting to divorce his wife, you uh, level up and do the gangnam. This game isn't necessarily like, messed up it's more of like what the fuck is going on i don't understand nor do i feel the need to try and understand <laughs> all right so here we have uh these girls talking about this other girl saying that she's gonna be a queen which doesn't seem like they're saying anything bad about her or anything like oh she's gonna be a queen like like they're just spitting facts you know but then the girl they are talking about uh decides to go crazy and thinks about either pranking them with a banana, um, I, I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. Or she can bomb them. <laughs> they said I was going to be a queen, so let me just drop a bomb on them and kill them. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, what? Why is that even an option? Or she can simply just demote them, and to be honest, I have no clue whatsoever what that means either. But sure, go off. <laughs> Okay, so she picks the banana and pulls a funny prank on the people who were shit-talking her, but they really weren't, and they weren't even doing anything bad to her, but she's mad at them, so she pranked them. So yeah, the chick slips on a banana peel, Mario Kart style, and then the soon-to-be queen who plays the banana comes out from the corner and is all like, Yo, this guy pranked! <laughs> I got you. I pranked you with a banana peel. <laughs> and then they all laugh and um, everything is fine. Okay, I, I honestly do not know what is going on. Why did she have a period out of fucking nowhere? Just like she was just with the guy. They were... And then all of a sudden, period blood. What? Why would you be with him if you were on your period? That's fucking nasty. What the fuck? And then he, um, just covers it all up, shoves the girl in a closet, and then everything's all perfectly fine, A-OK, -okay. no period blood anywhere, do not be alarmed, do not be alarmed, miss, I do not have period blood stains on my floor, there's nothing here whatsoever, I promise. Well, it seems that that's all of the cancer I can consume for today. Hopefully, I'll upload yet again, sooner rather than later, sorry about my little big break there, um, happy new year. Happy New Year's, guys, 2020. 
Uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. I won't let you blow this. <laughs>